trying to go there now. Oh, okay. I'm trying to tag everybody. All of my friends. You are now tuned into Mixation Radio Live. The views and the opinions of the guests and the hosts you hear on Mixation Radio Live are not necessarily those of the staff and the management of Mixation Radio Live, its sponsors or advertisers. All right, all right, family. It is so good to be back with you. I'm now trying to do a show. Welcome, family. Let me say hi to everybody. How is everybody doing? Uh, welcome to Mix Station Radio Live. We are here. Uh, Matthew uh, had a prior engagement to do tonight, um, and so he's not here tonight. Elder Matthew uh, Nelson, you know Matthew voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, so yeah. um, tonight, I called in my buddy. I wanted all single brothers here because he's not single no more. But um, Bishop Ward is now <laughs> married, so he's been married for a minute now. So. Oh God, help us, Jesus! <laughs> and um, I owed a lot of uh, a lot of thanks to this brother because he did my first show. We was over at a different uh, location in the, in the uh, first room that we had. So, and then I had one of my best friends. He was my roommate for years. Um, if don't nobody know me, he knows <laughs> how I am. Yes, sir. <laughs> Darren Echoes, ladies and gentlemen, and so we are glad to have him here tonight. Um, my name, again, is Wilbur Nichols, and I'm glad that you're here tonight. So, welcome. So, tonight, we're going to be talking about Corona love. Corona love. And so, um, to because Waters is married, me and Darren are not married. And so, I'm going to um, propose a question to Darren and, and Waters can chime in too because Corona Love also uh, we're dealing what we're going to be talking tonight is about how do we date or have relationships during this time in Corona because it's it's been everything was shut down well, nobody touching nobody and hopefully people started living right but we know that ain't um <laughs> help us, help us, Lord. Yes. Lord, we must discuss it's, this. Hasha <laughs> go to my So, um, we just happy to be here, family. So, we're gonna go straight into the discussion. Um, we're gonna be here a minute, and um, I just thank God for what He's doing Amen. in my Amen. life. Yes, sir. And um, He has done a, a miraculous thing in my life, and um, I just thank God. So, um. Um, God is good. That's all. That's all. That's all I can say. He's He's really awesome, and um, we just thank God for what He's doing in our life. And so um, now we just thank God, and we're going to go into this thing right. All right. One of the first questions that I wanna that I wanna put tonight, and also family, if you have any questions, especially to the single ladies out there, single and married, ladies, and and married women too. Uh -huh. You know, we're not worrying about echoes, but me and Darren, we still looking. Hallelujah, uh -huh. bless his name. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Um, <laughs> so um, 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 <laughs> we we've been working through the coronavirus. Hallelujah. Right. We, yes. we we haven't lost our jobs, Amen. So amen. God has been good on that end. Yes, Lord. And so. Um, we're just just calling. The number tonight is one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. Again, one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. Yeah. So if you want to call in, I got an engineer tonight to help me out. Thank you, Jesus. So um, we just thank God for that, and um, he's doing his thing. So um, thank you, Donnell. Thank you so much. He's from his show that normally he, that um, they do a show uh, called Rum TV, Cortez. Well, I'm saying that right? Oh, nice. Cortez. Cortez. I'm saying her name wrong. She's going to get me. Cortez. <laughs> so um, we, um, we just thank God that y'all on uh, tonight. Yeah. So the first question, and, and um, I'm going to direct this to Darren. Now, have you dated during this time? 
Uh, I have. I've dated during this Put time. the mic up to you. Uh, yeah. That's you have, you have yeah, dated that's during fine. this time. But, um, so do you date virtually or is, is your dating um, more of the fact that you're going out to see the person? Mm. Uh, it's more of going out to um, see the person. The virtual thing, I really don't. You don't do so. So you're not an online dude. No, it's a lot of women that are in that. No, that is true. I'm not. I'm not it's a that. lot, and guys too. Yeah, but I'm I'm not a fan of that. I never was. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I just wasn't. Yeah. Um, I, I think that um, I think God has a way of bringing us together. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen. I believe Amen. that. So. You believe that? Most definitely. Well, well, hold on. What, what, I'm not trying to put your business out there. Well, how many dates have you went? Or is it just oh. a certain one that you with? No, nah, you or know Or you what? just doing whatever? Because <laughs> you're a single man, because I know you. What's, what's going on is that um, I've I've met, you know, young ladies, you know, women mm-hmm. and stuff, you know. Right. And um, try to go on dates with them and things like that. Right. And um, it's just that... Um, I don't know what God, the spiritual thing, mm-hmm. is like. I'm waiting on God to give me that okay. I don't, um, it's been so long since I've been really, like, in the game, you know. Uh, for okay, well, 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 we got a lot to talk about that tonight. Yeah, so, so um, yeah. I really don't know which direction to go. Like, I don't know what's real and what's not real, you know. <sighs> That's heavy. I mean, if you... He I was lucky. That that's Waters was <laughs> lucky. <laughs> so so how long you been um dating? So so uh uh well I'm married now. Okay, um, you married. Um, wow. yeah. right, you married yeah. now. I, that's I, why I want to bring him on the show no, no, that's see, good. But see, that's fine. He said, you see, know, this is my I, man. I, I bring a whole nother vibe to it. You know what I mean? But I know about the dating though. He like, know about the dating. I, I've been through the transition. Been, and it just recently. So Absolutely. It like, so it's okay. only been a year and a half for me married. Right. Okay. Yeah, you know yeah, what so, I mean? So right. yeah, you know, I, I was able to beat Corona by, you know, by some months. <laughs> by yeah, by some months. Okay. I was <laughs> I was able to get in. But you know, it's it's a different season that we're in now. Right. It's a, dating is so different now and it's it has evolved into uh, way more, you know, uh, you got to play detective kind of now. Yeah, like, yeah, you right. know, because everybody that looks good, we already know, is not necessarily not good. good. Right. right. But even still, what I've learned, even when I was dating before I got married, and, and truth be told, uh, I got married. Uh, so I met my wife in mm-hmm. July. Uh, uh, is this last year? Last year. Well, tw- uh, I thought it was the year before. 2018. Yeah, it was the year before. Got 2018. Right. And then um, proposed to her in November of 2018. And then we got married January 2019. Okay. Right. Um, I have a question. Um, yes. When, when you met your wife, uh, yes, what did you meet at? I met her on Facebook. On Facebook? I met, met I met her wow. on Facebook. Now, wow. now, now, I'm going I'm to put this disclaimer out put there. Put the disclaimer out there. Because I know a lot of times we think, oh, <laughs> dudes are just lurking on Facebook. No. Right. I just so happen to be scrolling down Facebook on my timeline, okay. just like all of us do. You weren't trying to be a hoe. I wasn't trying to be a hoe. I wasn't in nobody, despite uh, uh, people may say, <laughs> right. folks always think somebody in the inbox. Okay. I wasn't, DM me, baby. Yeah, yeah, DM yeah. me. Yeah. Even here, <laughs> bishop's in my inbox. The bishop in my inbox, Shit. baby. I was never in nobody inbox. He oh, DM yeah. me. He sent me that picture. <laughs> right. That, that one him. picture. Y'all know what right. picture I'm yeah. talking about. Don't act like y'all ain't been saved all your life. The one with the special sauce. Yeah, the you special know? sauce on it. And I, see, I scrolled down, seen the picture, and my uh, wife was standing next to a mutual friend okay. on Facebook. Okay. I won't worry about the friend, the girl, her girlfriend. Right. I'm, <laughs> I said, Paul, I know. But, but you. She, yeah, Jesus, yeah. I know, but who are you? Yeah. You know? So I'm like, oh, oh, hey. Yeah. So, you know, from that point on, we linked up and, you know what I mean, we started talking through Facebook and, and on the phone. Okay. And I knew, and, and, and just like any other guys would say, and you know it's hard. For men like us, it's hard to really date and, like, really, um, you know, call somebody the one. Right. You That's know what true. I mean? Because... I've dated, don't true. get me wrong, I dated before my wife, and I thought, you know, it, it was a couple, I was like, okay, they got potential, but then something was revealed. That's why I said, yes, it was. you yes, got to play, was. you know, detective a little bit, right. you know, right. and so but my, but my uh, wife, when I saw her in person for the first time downtown, right. I, I was, I, it, it was over. 
Wow. It was over, Doc. Before she you even knew. set foot, I knew. I, wow. I knew. If I didn't, and it, it wasn't a desperation, though. Like, it wasn't like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm fiending to get married so fast. Right. Because I was just on a show here. Yeah. With, 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 with really? The, technically, technically, because we were just, um, the show that we was doing was really about, um, because Ronnie was on the show. Right. Ron, 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 um, yep. Yeah, Veronica. Yep. And uh, it was me, you, and I think Angel. But Angel, she, that, was, that was early, though. But yeah. But it was me and you mostly. And, yeah. um and we did the show, and we was just talking about us going through divorce. Yep. Okay. Yep. That was the time. Wow. But Darren, I think you were still so at my was, house were, at that time. This was second time. This is my second time. Okay. This is second yeah, time. This is my second time. Okay. So, right. yeah. So, I, I wasn't uh, looking. I was looking to get married, but not like that. Not right. yet. I wanted to take my time. Right. Because you've been just fresh right, out of so long. Yeah. I was married 14 for years. Wow. So, he yeah. was like, yo, like, yeah. let me take a break, let chill me, out. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. Too. But see, here's the problem, though. I know me. So right. the, the what do you mean you knew your flesh? I knew my flesh. <laughs> okay. So I ain't got time to be. I gotta that's wife. real, baby. Yeah. That's real, baby. Yeah. Roaming yeah. the streets of Baltimore, yeah. Yeah. Of Baltimore. Yeah. sowing my royal baby. oats. You know what I mean? Lord. <laughs> Shot by yeah. sow the oats, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew I'm like, oh, you gotta show me somebody and give show me somebody. You. And Amen. this get this lady, man. When I tell that's you, that's what she, I might need to do. Yeah, you might need to do show that, me right? Somebody, God, send somebody yeah. to me. Yeah, somebody that makes sense. Yes. But you know, um, but you know what? It, it's it's all you know. Most of the time, um, uh, my favorite scripture is you know, seek ye first. Yeah, the kingdom right. of God and, and his righteousness, righteousness. Yep. and all these things shall be added unto you, Matthew six thirty three. Yeah, and I think that that need to be the focus of what we do right. and yeah. how we do it. How we do it? Yeah, because see, the whole idea is that um, relationship is hard, and I just got out of one. It right. took me years to get into one, and I right. just got out of one. Yeah, and so um, and. And one of the things that I found out by myself by going through that short relationship that I was in mm-hmm. um, is that, you know, you don't want to go in a relationship, mm-hmm. you know, because I'm a laid back dude. And I right. think a lot of people yeah, take yeah, that yeah. take that as being, um, you know, you're not anxious or nothing. But when you, right. went, when you went through things that I went through, you know, I'm like, hey. If it's a bill, I ain't worrying about the bill. Let's right. just find a solution. Right. You know, and I'm laid back about it. There's no need right. in me going through that. What is that? Right. Is that our clock? We got a clock going on around here. We got a clock oh, tick tocking. A, a tock clock. It was my clock. Jeez, <laughs> on my time. Jeez. Probably wake me up for work. That's what it was. Yeah. But um, <laughs> the thing about it is that um, you tell this organic radio. We don't even care. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the thing about it, I found out about myself is that was I ready? Mm-hmm. Or was this situation just the wrong situation? Right. And one thing I found out, I'm not the dude, that guy that I was over 20-something years ago. Right. Right. Because I'm older now. See, I'm close to 50 now. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I may not look like it, but I'm just 49. Mm-hmm. And so the way that I was in my 30s is not how I am now. Yeah. Right. I'm retired. I'm more settled. So a lot of things I don't worry about. And a lot of things... I do worry about. I'm worrying about my son, the house, um, the station. Yeah, you right. know a yeah. lot of things that we that I'm trying to do, and music and studio. Sure. And so my focus in a relationship, I, I guess I probably needed, um, probably because I'm more mature. Right. Than mm-hmm. I was back then. Sure. So I'm not the same person. Sure. You know, and I sure. think that, and I understand women want to be chased. Okay. Yeah. We know that, but maybe that maybe because I haven't been on the bike a long time. Right. Mm. It took me a minute to like to say, okay, just let me give me time. I, I'm I'm gonna get back on this bike, but give me time to get back on it. And I think that uh, some of the uh, mature women that we know, they they're almost like on this time clock, or. They just say, I want to be married. I want to be married. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. it's like, with me, I already been married. Right. Right. I went through hell in my marriage. Right. right. And so me, you know, for us, especially me and you, Darren, because me and you talk. Right. When we went through our divorces, and you mm-hmm. know this, Waters. Oh, yeah. We lost everything. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. us going through a marriage again, right. all we thinking about, man, I'm going right. to lose everything again. So you got to think about it. 
and 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 I had my aunt my aunt say this to me. She said, well, "Look, Will, you don't have another fifty years left. That's true. Right. You just That's don't true. have it. Right. Yeah, That's in true. reality. That's so right. so if you do make whatever you got, just make it the best that you can, and make sure you're gonna be with this for the rest of your life. So so does that mean um, just since you had that much time, just be with anybody the first thing. But see, this is the thing about Corona. You know? Corona mm-hmm. has showed people that the person that that okay, all right, okay. Waters is still in his honeymoon phase mm-hmm. because he's recently married. Right. Sure. But those who have not been in honeymoon phase, they probably have been working, they probably haven't seen their mate sure. until the coronavirus hit, like really, really been around them right. yeah. 24-7. Right, right, right. right and right, so right. you're right. finding out that who did I marry? Did I marry this That's person? True. Right. And or either or either you found out that y'all just love each other all over again. Right. But there was a lot of people that said, you know, after this corona, I'm out of here. Out here. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> because I found out the real you. Yeah. But that's what you, did we marry did they marry a fantasy? Or right. because they just looked at the image, they wanted to place everybody at the image. And this coronavirus right. has stepped up that a lot of people are just image image drawn. You know, it's just an image. Yeah, yeah. It's an yeah, image. Yeah. And, you know, and, and if I could just jump in there. Go ahead, go ahead. But one of the things, too, and shout out to everybody who's watching, Dr. E, everybody okay. on Everybody's Live, man. Shout out to okay. everybody that's watching live. Uh, we love you guys as well. Uh, uh, one of the things, like, for instance, with my wife and I, uh, we always say we're not new to this, but we're true to this. Right. So, even though, like, what we're saying is, is, is a honeymoon phase, but not really, because we've been here before. Like, my wife was married twice before, too. Okay. Right. So this ain't her first rodeo, and it's not my first rodeo. Okay. However, what we discovered in this corona, which, right. I'm, which I'm hoping everybody do, especially that's in relationships and that are single, you find out, like, and, and I agree 100% with what you said in reference to I'm not the same person I was you know, years ago. Like, yeah. like I'm not the same husband I was when I was married the first time. Right. Okay. You're a different I'm totally a whole dude. different guy. Right. A whole different dude. Right. right. You went through things. Right. So right. You, you look at things a little bit different. So is, when you say you're a different guy, mm-hmm. does that mean that um, you got your guards up or you're like mm-hmm. protecting yourself? Um, you know, what are you doing different from... From the first time. Right. Then now. It, it's, it's more so, well... Really, to be honest, oh, uh-huh. here, we, here we go. Yeah, go, ahead, go ahead. It, to, to be honest, you on mixed station, baby. I, I <laughs> this is mixed station, baby. <laughs> hey, boy, we got viewers, boy. So let's keep it 100. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah that's what we so, do. Here. So I'm able in this marriage to do things I could never do in my first. Wow. Meaning display love and affection wow. beyond sex. Oh. See, Ooh. you now see what I'm talking. saying? Beyond, now you like, talk. like, okay, we don't have to have sex every night see? to be in total love. So you got mental right. love. I got mental love. See, so it's not about that's what's see? hard out here. See? It see? is. See? That's no, no, what's hold hard. On. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now we talking about Kavona now. Preaching. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We you're preaching. Kavona. Well, go ahead, preaching. Well, go ahead, but that's a part of it though. It is. See, the whole idea is that because Kavona. Think about it. On Facebook, since right. we're on Facebook now, we That's can talk right. about wow. it. Let's talk about it. On Facebook, right? Um, you 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 seeing more women mm-hmm. yes. mm-hmm. being naked now. That's true. Yes. On <laughs> Facebook and finding guys yep. now yep. because that Kavona shut everything down. It yes. is. It is. And so is. now I find out that. Check this out. And this, I work in a hospital. I'm not going right. to say what hospital I work in. That's right. But I work right. in a hospital. Right. There have been several girls mm-hmm. that I've seen come in. They they getting a pregnancy test. Mm. Right. Crying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because they don't want to have a baby during this time. Hey, that's I can understand. That's, that. I get you know too. what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah, but see, the whole that. idea is that, the whole idea is that, Either, either did they go? You know, I ain't asked nobody no questions, but you know, just talking, just talking, right? And 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 my time ministering, you know, so Absolutely. it's like a way of me ministering to them while they going through this season. I'm like, it's right. gonna be over. Right. So, but the whole idea is that we find out that a lot of women are looking for the wrong, looking for the Facebook fantasies. Okay, oh, they are because it's about the image, right? They are. not looking at. The real per- think about it. I probably became 
Well, let me put it this way. Not me, but I'm just with the guys who have jobs. Yeah. Okay. Stable. Sure, okay. Probably became more popular now than the dudes out there on the streets. Oh, yeah. Because it's more now, real. Because now even the dudes out on the streets are the ones making no money. That's right. Okay. That's it. So the ones that were bringing in the money is the dude that really had a real job. A real right. job. Right. A consistent job. Right. right. Okay. So what you're saying, um, so are they, are they there for the consistent, the man who has a job, a consistent job? Are they there, is it real love or is it for money? I think, me personally, I Uh-oh. think, Uh-oh. me personally, Uh-oh. Me personally, since we're going to go there, Help y'all can Lord. call in. Yes. Y'all can call, call in because very rarely y'all see me go live like this. Lord Jesus. I think that most of them, because it's survival mode. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. It's survival mode. I understand yeah. that. So yeah. my thing is that I may not love this Negro. Right. But. but say that, Doc. But because the money coming in. That's right. I'm going to love the one I with. It's like when I was yeah, in right. jail. The, yeah. the sergeant said, you know what? I know you're in the cell, but he said, but you got to love the one you with. Yep. Right. <laughs> and so it's two of them in the cell. Nobody don't know right. what's going on. Right. But they in there. They in there. See what I'm saying? Right. And and I, and I think that's what this coronavirus, I think it had brought out a certain level of, 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 okay, I, I know this is not the one I want to be with. Right. But because of the situation, yep. I'm going to work it out the best that I can. Right. Right. Okay. Whereas um, though with me, I'm not taking that chance. Okay. I'm not, I'm not bringing nobody in my life mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. because they giving me something. Right. Right. Some right, booty right. or something. Right. For sex. I don't it's not it because don't last. It's, it's, it's not, it's not it doesn't right. last. It don't last. See, when I went through when I went when I went through my divorce, and you know well we right. talk all the time, you know, when I went through my divorce, I made a promise to God. I said, God, I said, I'ma honor the marriage, even though we weren't together. Meaning that I didn't date, I didn't uh, That's have true. Any side relationships. I say I'm gonna be loyal to the marriage until until you get a divorce. Until and you, you get did. a divorce, mm-hmm. and you did. And I was absent. Absent. I didn't have sex for over seven years. Yeah, wow. this is true, right? Wow. And 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 my friends are like, man, you crazy, right? You know, I'm like, man, I made a promise to God. You yeah. know, yeah. And I know that even now, you know, I've dated since I've been divorced and everything. Sure, now, sure. But I haven't had mental love. Mm-hmm. Through that process of some years, God trained me yeah. how to be, to listen to when he talks to you, because God does talk to you. Yes, he right. does. Yes, he, he does. does. talk to you. Talk, so, son. You preaching. So, amen. Yeah, amen. Preaching. We're going to put yeah. this, we're going to give you some money right now. <laughs> cash <laughs> app him. Put your cash <laughs> app. <laughs> amen. But what I'm saying, and it's deep from the heart, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's hard for me to date. Well, to, I ain't going to say not hard for me to date, yeah. but it's hard for me to be into a real serious relationship because I, I'm really, really heavy on mental love. Yeah. Not that slick talking stuff and yeah. all that. It's, I, I like that respect. Yeah. You know? So, mm-hmm. my guards, I don't know if I'm being too hard on women. Mm-hmm. I got my guards up, you know, like yeah. a shield. Like, I'm not going, I'm not You're going not to get anybody no in your space. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. But I don't know if that's a, like you said, um, we don't have, too much time, yeah. and, and but 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 That's I'm not going to waste my time, right, on just being something or settling it with something that I know you really you you love. Okay, you love the idea of who I am, but you right. don't love me, right? Like okay, oh, prime example, yeah, that's prime good. example. That's good. That's he's good. a bishop, right? Some right. women would right. just want to marry the title because he says. He's a bishop. I got you. Right. But they really don't love him. Yeah. Right. But right. they're married because he's a bishop. He's, right. It See? looks good. Right. That's why right. I right. never wanted the title in the church. Yeah. I never wanted that. I always sat in the background. I never, yeah. never, yes, it's true. But you, but never wanted that. My, my wife said something to my children the other mm-hmm. day. Right. This, she just right. told my children the other day that she said, I didn't marry the bishop. I didn't right. marry the pastor. Right. I married. I fell in love with the man. The man. Amen. Because my See? children were saying, and we just going to keep it on. Yeah, keep it one. My children was reminiscing on the relationship between me and their mom. Yeah. 
and how the mom didn't like all this church stuff and all the cameras and all. You know, so my wife had to break it down. Like, listen, baby, I didn't marry the bishop. I fell in love with the man. Amen. All that other stuff just comes along no, with, it just, with whatever, it. Whatever, right. Yeah, whatever so comes along with I it, think right. just like you, you, we're all saying the same thing, that we are looking for, or especially you guys are looking for, someone who can love the man. See, you, you know what I mean? And, and, and the what real you, not, no, right, not, not right. the Facebook right. that you see now. Right. You see me on Facebook to right. be taking a nice picture to right. right. caption. No, but that's see, not right. me. But right. See, right. 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 exactly what you said. Mm-hmm. And, and I heard earlier you were saying that um, your wife is not about the sex and stuff like oh. that. You know what I mean? You want to get to know each other. Yeah. Now, see, that's my thing from, from the start yeah. is that uh, if I meet a young lady who um, really spiritually, because I'm really – in tune with Christ, you know, sure. mm-hmm. listen to the word. Right. right. But the thing is, I know I might have my, I had my faults. I'm not yeah, perfect. All of us. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, though, is that women say they want the brother, you know, that's right, strong brother, church sanctified, right. brother, whatever, like that. Right. And they get the good brother, but they want to test the waters too. Absolutely. The they want half time. and half, bro. right? Yeah. So now, <laughs> yeah. and 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 we we have choices. Yeah, we do. So it's that. We can either go the right way, yeah, or we can yeah. go the wrong way. You know, once we start mixing that sex up, with uh, it messes things up. It messes everything Jacks up. Jacks it up, yeah, it does. It, it messes everything up. Well, can I can I can I jump in there real quick? Go, go ahead, ahead, jump in. Just just uh, just off my personal experience. So, from the doing my single time, my single moments, right, mm-hmm. my single months, my single time, uh, I even as a bishop. And right. I know we right. live, but we're going to keep it 100. Keep it 100, bro. Brothers be tripping like you and be creeping. Like everybody has crept a time or two. Yes, we have. Hallelujah. Even in ministry. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hotels. Come on. Exactly. My favorite hotel. Exactly. I don't want to tell y'all my favorite hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I love, they give out good cookies, though. Good chocolate oh, chip cookies. What's that? What's that? Double name? tree. What's Double that? <laughs> I thought you were going to say Towson East. <laughs> <laughs> Lord deliver we us. We out here, Tom. No, back back in the the I can't do Tom today. That was back oh, in the it's day. It's too close. Y'all, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But we all had our time ah, of Lord being Jesus. out there. And so oh, what, what, I, what, I, what I was doing was finding myself creeping, like we creeping. all do. Creeping, right. trying to figure out where to go, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. who we with, and just yeah. getting temporary pleasure for a moment. And mm-hmm. uh, and it didn't last. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. what ended up happening was we became like the women, just right. vulnerable, just you know somebody right. talking good. We uh, and because also let's put this out there too. Yeah, go ahead. The women put the facade out there as well on Facebook with the looks, the titties out, the breasts, uh-huh. you know, yeah. the thighs uh-huh. out, and they they looking for that. Yeah. They're looking for the attention. They, they're looking for the attention, and they get the the attention that they're looking. That they're for, looking for. They get it, but they're looking for the opposite type of dude that they're that they attracting. Right. right. So I tell a lot of women all the time, like if you're gonna put yourself out there, if you're gonna be a thotty body with everybody, <laughs> yeah. then go ahead. Then go yeah, ahead right. to you, yeah. but, but yeah. don't be mad. <laughs> don't have yeah. the situation is done. Exactly. Right. You get exactly. what you ask for. Right. Exactly. That's true. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and one thing that I'm finding out, and um, I love this conversation. Oh yeah. Is that um, uh, because of what we have presented, and like you said, with the women. Yeah. They, you know, and and that's why I want some women to call in. Y'all can call in one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. Some yeah. of y'all that's on my live right now. Shout out to the Facebook. So lives. you know, Shout out. um, and so um, the thing about it is that the women, and since we're in church, since we, sure. you know, we 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 we're, we're saved brothers. Sure. Um, most of the women that want a good man really don't really want a good man. Yeah. I think I think what they want, they want a half and half man. They want mm. they want a man to fit the image, but they want him to be the gangster. Right. Or That's be true. or be behind. That's true. Or look play play the facade. Right. Who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? When we in front of folk, but right. then when we home, it's a total different thing. And, yeah. you, and you know what else too? Um a young lady told me one day, an older lady, well, mm-hmm. I ain't going to say older. Mature. A mature lady uh, told me one day that um, there's a lot of single women out here who wants a good man, but they um so independent, 
you know, like uh, they had their own good oh, job, their own right. house, okay. all that stuff. Yeah. They, how can I say, they, they want us to come to them, but we don't know if, what they're going through. We don't know yeah. their mindset is or whatever they're trying. We don't know if they want to date or anything like that. Right. But uh, what mm-hmm. I'm saying, if you listening on the radio, listening right now, right, um, to all the ladies, single ladies, um, don't be afraid to ask a, um, a brother to go out or something like that. Was he right. single? Is he um? Right. Do your homework date? first, though. Make sure yeah. he ain't no uh, killer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rapist, and all talking, that. Yeah, Do your homework. I know, I know what you're and saying. vice versa. Yeah, not, not like yeah, that. And, yeah, and vice versa. I'm just joking. But, go ahead. Go but ahead, I mean, ahead. it don't. I don't think it always has to be the man. You know, mm-hmm. things. Times has changed. It has. You know, true. women always wait for the man to make the first move or whatever like that. And um, I think I think everybody should just. Be expressive. Like you said, you don't have enough time now. Right. Just express yourself. And yeah. the other thing, the other thing too, um, Darren, I I found out that's yeah. going through this last situation that I went in that um I'm I found out a lot of things about myself. Yeah. Right. That yeah. I'm like, wow, man, you know, or maybe maybe it was just the wrong person I was with. Yeah. You know, that yeah. because I haven't jumped out there so long. Yeah. You know, um, I have dated folk, but I haven't been in a quote quote a relationship with somebody right. until That's this past difference. recent. So it was a difference yeah. than me doing my own thing, than me now having to really um being with somebody. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so I had to look at things a little bit different. It it you know, I had to get back up on the bike like I'm it was just riding all over again that I haven't written in so long. Yeah. And it was like I felt like I was rushed. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And and yeah. I'm like I'm like, okay, if 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 I'm rushed with this thing, right. you know, especially during Kavona and and people want to uh lock down people. That's true. You know, no matter yeah. how if you're a good guy, you're a good guy. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And and some things, you know, they may point out some of the the bad things right. that you know, because all of us have some some quote quote bad things that's going on with us, issues yeah. that we deal with daily. Yeah. But that's why you get the woman that can really deal with that issue, and and both y'all both deal with the issues. Yeah. Because I know now with you, she she didn't know you. No, not she at all. didn't know you. Your nope. wife didn't know you. Not at so all. So the whole idea is that she had to get to know you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Bottom line, she Bottom had to get line. to know you. That's right. And That's so right. the whole idea is that, you know, um, I, I think that when us as being men of God, mm-hmm. right. We have to be very transparent. That's true. I think the playing the games that we used to play back in the day, that's over for me. Yeah. Yeah. I I think that um, especially if you're more mature. Yeah. You know, you have some more you have some mature dudes who just still play the game. Right. Anyway, so that's gonna be them. But if you settle and you really want to do the the work of the Lord, yeah, you know, you just like look, this the way it is. I had one of my buddies, and um, and and he just was transparent Mm -hmm. with his lady friend, man, just straight off the bat, yeah. And I was like, yo, that's awesome because if a woman is going to love you, she's going to love everything about you, absolutely. Not keep secrets from. Keep yeah. a secret from it. Then she find out years later. Well, why you do that? that, 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 that you right. never told me. And now it becomes a, a problem. Right. And I think that the only way that the relationships can can really succeed if you be very transparent. That's right. You have mm-hmm. to be. You have to put it all out on the table. Right. Because if I got a problem in this area, mm-hmm. I need to let you know. Especially if you're a woman of God, right. and I think that's what, what we're looking for. See, he got a woman of God. That's why I say, right. he was, okay. you know, God bless right. him. I'm not gonna yeah. say he lucky. God bless yeah. him. Yeah. Right. You know, but yeah. other of others of us, you know, who are looking for that. Right. Um. It, it may be because who we are, Darren. Because think about it. Me and Darren lived together for years, mm. yeah. so he know. You know, I'm a praying dude. I'm a pray. Right. In any time of first the day. First thing in the morning. First yeah. thing. <laughs> I mean, you be, you beat the birds up. Jeez. I'm going yeah, to yeah, pray. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to pray every That's day. praying, brother, all day long. I, I just wow. do it, man, because that I want to have communication yeah. with God, so right. I make the right decisions. Sure. And um, even with all the adversity and the coronavirus going on, 
you know, I just pray to God, okay, God, what is the right time for me to do this? Yeah. Is this the right time to have a relationship? You know, mm-hmm. it's kind of weird that I waited all this time just to have a relationship during the coronavirus. Right, this right. is crazy. Right. So when all that time, when I was freed up and I was good. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, but God has a way of doing some things. Sure. And I think that uh, when, when people come through and really want to be a part of what, what God is doing for your life, especially in a relationship That's true. Yeah. during this time. Yeah. One thing this Corona virus has done, if it, if it did it for me, is that I got closer to God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's Amen. like, you know, Amen. I ain't worrying about sex like that. Right. But but you know what, it's though? The desire is still there. Absolutely. But it's like, yo, you know, I'm good. I'm like, God, okay. All right, right this time is yours. Let's get it. Because this has to- this has shown me that I love being in the presence of God. And 24 you know what? 7. But I'm going to tell you, um, it's kind of opposite for me, though. Mm-hmm. Since this um, coronavirus thing and the churches and stuff closing down and everything, yeah. shut down temporarily, I guess temporarily. But um, a lot of churches now into it, they're into this virtual thing now. Right. Yeah. And I don't know if a lot of churches are going to reopen or whatever. But I don't like that, you know, that type of thing. I like that. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm going to ask you this. Do you feel as though that because church is closed, do you feel that you don't have the communication with God the way now that you used to if church was open? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, I had uh, church hurt, you know. And, right, um, you did. I had church hurt because um, I had somebody come to me, somebody that's like the pastor is one of the past. I'm not gonna name the person on the church or whatever. Amen. Mm. Thank you. Came to me and was like, uh, <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Came, Jesus. Came to me and said, one day a bishop wants you to um, start wearing suits to church. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, tell bishop if you want me to do that, you know, to um, buy me some suits. Because if like, because you wear a suit every Sunday right. doesn't justify where you are. And your spiritual, you know, your spiritual right. walk with Christ. Right. And me, I'm a jean, tennis shoe type guy, blazer yes, type are. guy. Yes, you yeah. are. Yes, you are. And I praise God. I mean, I really, really yes, praise God. Yeah. And I was hurt by that. You know, like, mm-hmm. if a person see you outside walking on a Sunday and I got a pair of jeans on a pair of sneakers, they like, oh, that's just another guy on the street. Right. But you see a brother with a oh, he come from church. He come from church. <laughs> And and that stuff like that, I yeah. want to be the opposite of that. Yeah. But um, going back to the church, mm-hmm. who, me when me like staying away from church and I'm making an excuse. I'm going to church Sunday. I'm going to church Sunday, mm-hmm. and I don't go. Yeah. So the more I said that, the more I stayed away. But now the coronavirus is here. I'm like, God, I wish I was in church. <laughs> yeah, right, you right, know? right, right. But whole different thing. Yeah. But. I used to go sit down and pray like Will yeah. would do, but Will was, he, he's real good with the prayer. Yeah, he deep. He, <laughs> he heavy. He's, 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 he's you said I'm real good with the prayer. <laughs> <laughs> but but with me, I lost my Blessings. prayer. I lost, I yeah. lost it. And you I lost asked, it. And I asked Honest. God, like, God, like, give it back to me. Yeah. 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 You know, give it back to me. Uh, make me pure as snow, you know, let me. Yeah. Get my, my, my prayer life back and, yeah. and do the things that I know was, of you, mm-hmm. right? You know, because when I was there, I when honestly, you was there, you was exercising, honestly, you, you was, was all that, that son. He, he was, was eating that. right. He was, was doing it, boy. Like I was, yeah. I was doing it all. Um, he had me out there exercising. Come on, Will, let's run. <laughs> <laughs> I was, what's 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 the word? Um, what's the word I'm trying to say? When you um, my mind going blank right now. When, um, everything is going right for you. Yeah. Talk about like. Uh, tell my father everything in your life going right. Um, I can't think of the words. It's easy, simple word, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Do I they, need that back. I really okay. need that back. Like favor, like 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 supernatural favor was when everything is. It's like it's nothing can can hurt you. Nothing can stop you. Yeah, that's like favor. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, and, I, and I think it's with I think it's with everybody. Um, this whole Corona season, uh, just to add to what you were saying, right. is it has really enhanced uh, a lot of things e- for me that was missing even in my walk, uh, in my relationship, uh, mm-hmm. or relationships, uh, relationship with my wife. Shout out to my wife. She's watching now. I got to pause and say I love you too. <laughs> my wife, we love you too. 
tremendously and everybody else is watching. Kenneth Marsh, everybody that's watching. Amen. Um, I, I think that uh, God is, um, I think that Corona has ignited a deeper passion right. for God. And so when we do get back into his house, I think it's going to be explosive. Right. But it should have already started now. Like I had a conversation with, with uh, Will a, a few months ago, mm-hmm. and I was asking him about a prayer. Uh, p- a prayer ministry. A, partic- a prayer ministry, and I said, I told him, I want to take our ministry to the next level. What did y'all do back then? You know, and he and was just say? prayer. That's it. I, I, t- I mean, it was. Yo, just pray. It was- I mean. I mean, dog. I mean, look, man. Yeah. It's so simple. It's yeah. not that hard. Yeah. It is so yeah. simple. I like that. I like you know, that. because we make it so simple. Right. You have to spend time with God. Right. The people, like like Dern, okay, struggling because the church is not going. Yeah. Right. This thing has tested your oh faith God. with God. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Your belief in God. Absolutely. Because the whole idea, now you can't go to the church for a fix. Right. You have to have it in you. The yeah. church is you. Yeah. You're yeah, the right. temple. Yeah. Of the body of Christ. That's right. So the whole idea is that now you have to have the you have to have the presence of God with you. So you have to do it at home now. Yeah. Right. Ain't, ain't no it's more. It's personal. It's personal. Yeah. You, right. if, if it's not personal, then it's not going to be. That's because right. regardless of what people may say, they may call you this or call you that. Right. I still have a relationship with God. Yeah. Absolutely. Whatever you may think of me. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And that's absolutely. where the prayer, as I was telling Bishop Waters back then, I mm-hmm. said, dog, I said, man. We prayed six in the morning. We yep. would come together and pray six in the right. morning. Man. Sometime would be five in the morning. Mm, and then right. the men, we would meet. Yo, we meeting at three. We meeting at three in the morning. <laughs> right. right. It would just be crazy. And yeah. all of the men, all of the congregation would meet. And then we would leave that, that morning and then come back to service. Come on, man. For that Sunday. Come on. Come wow. on. Sun, we come would on. be in prayer at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. For an hour. Yeah. Come, go home, yeah. get back up, and be back to church by 10 or 11. See that? See that? See that? See what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. see, that's when you have people who are just hungry for God. Yeah. And that hunger, I'm telling you, that particular ministry that I was part of during that time, mm. it was just amazing. It just it just blew my mind. And I'm giving a shout because I'm talking about them. And yeah. I'm going to say Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken. You know, Dr. Ken. Also, Kenneth you Robinson. You know, Dr. Kenneth Robinson. Yeah. The, the ministry at the time was restoring life and now this dream life. Dream life yeah. The same yeah. people had so much hunger for God. Yeah. And they still got it. Yeah. You know yeah, what right. I'm saying? Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, and I think, I, I think that we need to have the same hunger even when we talk about COVID love. Right. And right. I, like, for instance, my wife and I, we go every night. There's not a night to go by. Uh... Where we don't hold hands and pray in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we do a confession. We do a faith confession. We there do you a faith, go. We I do confess a, every day. Yep, we do a faith confession and we pray. It, no matter how the day was hard, whether it was a good day, in between day, rocky day, we pray. And this is what attracted me even more to her because I'm like, I didn't get that from people who I was dating. It was all about the facade of just being entangled, which Jada Pinkett just blew everybody off the roof. Right? <laughs> entanglement. <laughs> entanglement. Yeah. Entanglement. Yeah. Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. Entanglement. entanglement. That's the new word. Man. Yeah, you know, I didn't have that in my entanglements. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't have, you know, like like Will said, you know, it was all about uh, being connected to the position and not the person. And so yeah. there was no growth there. So, you know, I, I think, you know, being single men and, and single women, those who are watching us even right. now, got to be uh, in a place, like we'll say, I think now of prayer and, and faith confessions before. Like my wife and I talked, she said it last night. The Bible says he who finds a wife finds find a good, good thing. thing. Fine, see, so he she, who findeth. Right. Hear what I'm saying, Darren? You hear what I'm saying, right. Darren? So right. you can't sit back and just wait. For them yeah. to come. That's fine. But when you Once find you her. But when you find her. Go ahead, but go ahead, but, bitch. But, I'm sorry, no, bitch. No, but that's true. <laughs> bitch, but when fine. you find her, she's already a wife. Not a wife of somebody, but she already has that DNA. Embodiment of the DNA. The problem, Darren, this is the problem. That's it, son. This is the problem. Preach it, son. We've been picking. People Ooh. who didn't have the DNA. Okay, okay. We're trying to make them the DNA. Amen. Uh, or yeah. they trying yeah. to make us the DNA. Wow. Uh, of what yeah. they want. Of what, 
Yep. Wow. Oh, I want a gangster, yeah. but I want I want you to be in church too. It yeah. doesn't mix. Yeah. Yeah. Oil and water yeah. doesn't mix. That's right. I've That's always right. been a church boy. That's right. Right. That's no right. matter how you look at it. That's right. Jail right. just refined me. Jail just yeah. taught me how to fight. That's right. all. That's <laughs> all it did. It just taught me how to fight. That's all right. jail did. But that's what you we. Know what I'm saying? But that's what we need right now. And, and that's why I say we need people. Uh, when you're looking for a relationship, you need people that's already spiritually there. They're not there for the personal gain. All that stuff comes with the package. You right. You know what I mean? My, when I met my wife, she was already making a lot of money. Like, she, she, was, she, she was, was doing it. She was doing it. She wow. was doing it. She had an assistant living. She didn't she worry about him. him. What yeah, I need to worry she, about? I don't yeah. need this money. I was but, just an asset to what she exactly. already had. But wow. she wasn't uh, in a place in her mind of immaturity to say, oh, I'm looking for something way beyond reach. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of women who are just looking for uh, Negroes with money. But they dogging them. Or the body. Or the body. Or the body. Hallelujah. The body. Especially right now with coronavirus. Everybody, I'm looking for the body. Want to be covered in smoke. You got to have the body. You got to have the six pack. I don't have a six pack. I have a a keg. I have a little keg. I'm working on it, though. I am working on it. I'm working on it. (laughs) (laughs) But But the thing is, we know how to do it, though. We know how to do it. That's true. That's true. We know how to get back. I I tell you, being in the presence of God, it has... It has got you to a point. It has got me to a point yeah. where, though, I am, I'm with him more. Yeah. Now because I'm in the house more. Yeah. I do work. I work, but you know, by me being retired, thank God for that. Yeah. But the thing about it is that you have to get to a place where, though, his presence comes first. That's Amen. right. You know, I was That's talking right. to somebody early today, and she said to me, she said, Will, she said, God, family, then church. Yeah. What, we, what we done, how we grew up, was it wasn't even God. We put church first. Yeah, church. Yeah. And then family, then God. Then God, yeah. <laughs> God was the last. Right. Wow. God was right. last. And, right. I, and I can truly can say that because it was like church. Church is all I knew. Right. Right, 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 right. God right. didn't come to me until later. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really, God. I yeah. knew him, but I didn't know him really, really until later. later. Right, right, right. So it was church, family, you know, because I'm hanging around my family because all my family's in church. Right. right. And, then, and God. then God came. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But really, it should be God, family, family. Then, then church. church. Yeah. Because if God is at the center of everything, right. then you have nothing to Amen. worry about. Right. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's coronavirus, I think, with the women, especially the single women out there. I was looking at um, one uh, thing on YouTube, mm-hmm. and it blessed my heart. But it was done by Noel Jones. And Noel Jones, it was a sermon called Control Yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Control Yourself. I would play it now, but I'm not. Um, y'all have to go in there and look for it. It's called No Jones Control Yourself. Mm. And he did it at Eddie Long Church. So this was some time back. Oh, okay. This is way before Eddie Long was losing weight and yeah. I think before the before scandal and all that. Right, right, right. And, right, right. Um, right. and it was such a powerful sermon. Yeah. The way he went in and dissected how we deal with our flesh. That's right. right. Because, right. see, the struggle is how do we deal with the flesh, how we yeah. deal with porno, how we deal with sexual desires and other stuff oh, that Lord. put us in the trap. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because all it is is a trap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once you open Pandora box, it's hard to close it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of deliverance yeah. there. That's how come during when we went through our divorces and our marriage, mm-hmm. that's why it's hard for us to get into a relationship now yeah. because of what we went through. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to be healed. And I've been was divorced since, what, 11? 2011. Yeah. Since 2011. Yeah. yeah. That's why I say bless God for waters. Good waters. He was blessed. Yeah. And you know I said it, though. I said hey, it on the show. You did say it here, on the show. on the show. You did. You did. A, long, a while ago. And I said, uh, when a question was asked, will we get married again? Will I get married again? Right. Well, we, we get right. Married. right. I said, yes. Wilbur said, no, not right now. And I, I did. I did. And, I and I he was no. mad. Right. And I said, yes. And they, and they was like, wow, why? I said, because it's a lot of things that were not fulfilled that I still would like to have. I never had that right. opportunity. Right. So, right. you know, I want to be able to have the same happy marriage as so many other people. 
uh, have. Uh, somebody said, uh, Pastor uh, Heath. Oops, uh-huh. I didn't drop my thing. Bro, don't worry about pa- it. Pastor y'all. Heath. Uh, said something Tell just, I said hi. just now. Yeah, Pastor Heath, we with you. I just dropped my, my tablet. I'm yeah, sorry, guys. We still guys. got you, Pastor Heath. We still got you. He <laughs> said, man. He said you want to be uh, financially equally yoked financially. That's true. Which That's is true. A, a big, big issue. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Shabaya. Oh, glory, Shabbat. You go hands. right there. Lift your hands yeah. up right there. You know you need deliverance right now. Which get deliverance true. right there. Get it. But a friend of mine said, and I want to get your opinion on this. A friend of mine, female, she said, if the man always have to buy the dinner, if he always have to buy uh, the, wow. get the movie tickets, if he always have to buy the gas, then wow. you don't have a girlfriend or a wife. You have a daughter. Wow. Woo! Shot by okay. C. Hey, Woo! you know what? You know what? Woo! I don't know if this Holy Spirit talking, but um, I dated this school teacher one time. Right? Okay, she asked me out on a date, right? See? Okay, and I was like, sure. So I met at a little restaurant. You're right. I would took it a tad. Yeah. But after the end of the dinner, um, I gave her the you know the mm-hmm. tab or whatever. Yeah. And she slid it back to me. I'm like, what's this for? And she was like, um. For you, you know, like no, I said you asked me out, right? Right. I just wanted to see where was she at. I just want to see somebody right. different. That's different. Right? <laughs> if she would just say it, if she would just say, it, I got it. Right. Right. It would be totally different. I would have took it a tap anyway. I had the money. Right. 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 But I you paid, just wanted to say, and we're sitting at the table like, no, nah, you supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to. Do this. And I'm like, yeah. well, you asked me, so we're going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what? It was a letdown. I already knew she wasn't a woman for me. Yeah. Because yeah. I said I just wanted to. Find somebody different who's Absolutely. not afraid. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's yeah. what's going on now. The days that the women talking about, well, we old, I'm old fashioned, and I was raised this way. Get up out of that stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The good guys, the now the old guys who would treat you, I think who would treat sugar you, daddies, treat you <laughs> some way, sugar you, daddies, who, who will use you right. or whatever. Yeah, are the ones who would take from you. Yeah, but the ones. Good guys are the ones who just want to see somebody different. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. yeah. And we would give y'all our everything, our mind, our heart. Right. Our money, yeah. whatever, yeah. you know? Right. If you we find just, it right. 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 I got a, I got a question. Um, and we have a question on the floor as well. Yeah. From yeah, your yeah. pastor. Yeah. Yes. I, is this the same one you got? Does your natural family yeah. come? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is my pastor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I say blessing <laughs> to him. They have a show here. I'm pumping everybody's show today. Rum yeah. TV, uh, the sex show, intimacy show. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Thugs, thinkers, the, and uh, theologians. The uh-huh. and that's my pastor. And Bishop Brian Martin, um, Bishop um, O'Diet, and um, Anton Spence. Yeah. And all of them. Um, he wrote my pastor just uh my pastor's Clavon Burson at Mission Life Family. Um he, he sent a question said, Does your natural family come before your spiritual family? Whoa, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'll say yes. Yes. Do I you say it yes over again? Repeat Does your that? natural family come before your spiritual family? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That's because and, and 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 I'll back it up because um after church is over with, it's my natural family I go back to. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. After my church is over, mm-hmm. me and my brother, we have to talk. Yeah. After everything is said and done, after we go to church, we're talking. Yeah. Me and my mother, we're all talking yeah. our issues right, right, right. that we deal with life because, see, your family is the one that covers you. Right, 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 right. Okay, like, right, right okay, Clay is my family now. Right. Is my family, really my family now. Mm-hmm. So I cover him. Right. Not only is my pastor, but he's he's family. So no mm-hmm. matter what family go through, we keep it in-house with family to Absolutely. deal with whatever we have to deal with. Mm-hmm. Right. Like me and my brother. Yeah. Pastor Clay said something to me, and, I, and I'm going to put this out there, Pastor. Uh, me and my brother was going through a big issue, mm-hmm. and, um, and I was about to get ready to leave. And I was like, man, I'm done with this. We done. Pastor Clay said, man... You and your brother have to stay together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We had to stay yeah. together. Because we didn't stay together, we wouldn't be where we are now. Absolutely. See what I'm saying? Absolutely. And that was back, that was a minute ago. Yeah. Right. That was a minute ago. Yeah. So, you know, him as being my pastor and and my friend and my brother. Yeah. Who yeah. known both of us through the years. Yeah. He just said, no, man, y'all can't separate. Y'all better together than right. y'all are separate. Yeah. And that's the thing with about marriages and being in relationships. Right. I think that we get with somebody, 
that once you find that person, you're better together if you're going to the next level. If you're not going to, if the other person's coming with agenda, you know, and taking from you, then you're not going anywhere. Yeah, whatever the yeah. thing is. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, whatever their agenda is, right. they're yeah. going to take from you. Yeah. That's you right. know, and I'm like, yo, dog, we trying to grow together. Oh, help right. me to grow this. Right. If right. I'm meant to buy houses, then help me to buy houses. Right. That's it. That's it. You know? That's it. I know because he's a business man, a businessman. Yeah. Your wife is a businesswoman. Absolutely. So right. they both have business minded togetherness. Right. right. So right. they have to grow. I'm a music cat. Yeah. Right. You know I'm gonna be in the studio. Right. That's right. Right. I'm gonna yeah. sing. Yeah. I yeah. don't care wherever it is. I'm gonna sing in church, <laughs> right. at the studio, on the street, whatever <laughs> right. we gonna do, and right. I'm gonna do it differently, right? Because I'm not a part of the norm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to know who you dealing with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You and, know, if I'm your first ministry, it's my first yeah, ministry. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. my first love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, when you come in this thing, you get with me. You already know. Okay, he he love music. Yeah. That's yeah. what he gonna do. Yeah. Right. He gonna sing. Yeah, I'm gonna sing everywhere. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna sing in the bathroom. I'm right, gonna make right. up songs in the back. Right. During the Hermes, make up so many songs. Yeah. He said, "Man, yeah. did you what? Yeah. You just made that up? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. so you gotta the, the the oil keeps flowing, man. Yeah. And so when you get with the right person, and this Cavone virus, if you with the right person, yeah. it's shown that you with the right person, or you with the wrong person. Yeah, you um, know. Yeah. I w- I will also add to it that your family is your first ministry. Like your your be, before just to tag on to what Will just said, right. and we all agree. You know, at, at the end of the day, and I said this last night on uh, Facebook Live, my wife and I did uh, called the uh, Faith Cat, and mm-hmm. I said that uh, at the end of the day, when all like you said, when all the people are gone, church is over. Mm-hmm. If there comes a season where God says, "I need you to minister to your wife." Yeah, I gotta stop all that other traveling mm-hmm, stuff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and do that because yeah. that's that's my that's my responsibility. That's your right. responsibility. You know, a lot of preachers get that messed up, and that's right. why a lot of us are in divorce right now in the church. Amen. Right, right. Because, some of them are divorced right now because right. they take care of family. Yeah, be, because right. they put their engagements over their relationships, over their spouses. I gotcha. over, I understand. I understand. Yeah, you know, so we got to be so careful. So I, I say yes, I agree uh, yeah, with you. Yeah, with my pastor. Yeah, yeah I agree with Pastor, yeah, pastor Clay. Clay. Yep. I mean, I agree. And, and that's the thing, because I, I think that we have went so far, and we all been in the church, and yeah. we have seen this time and time again, right. where there's so many people that we are under, some of our bishops and some of yeah. our pastors, that put the church first, and they got mm. divorced, and they was living double lives. Yeah. One thing about it, wow. and and and, that's, and and see that's a, that's another thing with this coronavirus. It has shown that a lot of people might have started living double lives that yeah. never did live a double life. Yeah. But because of the coronavirus, their flesh is going through so much yeah. that now they open the door up to some things that they cannot close. That's right. That's yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the thing about it, you're home alone, yeah. and you yeah. think you're alone. And so now the devil has, one of the main things that the devil does, he's isolate. Amen. Right. He loves to isolate, to think that you're the only one going through what you're going through. Right. That's why we need to minister one to another. That's right. That's right. You know, to That's say, right. hey, I called Darren. I said, Darren, what's up, dog? He right. might not know that I'm just calling him up because I'm going through, but I just want to hear his voice say, right. dog, what's going on? Yeah. I just wanted to talk and not even talk about the issue that I'm in, right. but just to say, look, dog, hey, what's going on? To make to find a way of escape or something. Right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. 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 Because right. everybody is going through. Right, right. You know, everybody's right. feeling the loneliness, especially yeah. if you're single. Now, with him, That's he's true. blessed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. He got a white phone. <laughs> so, you know, he's good. Yeah. Right. But, you know. Even even to the ones that maybe be living with somebody but don't like them now, that's which right. is a big thing. Which is a big thing. Yeah, and some of yeah. them have this coronavirus. They're going to leave. They going it's yeah. Wow. It's going to be popping on. Well, they, well, they, well, they oh, they're said, already doing it now. Yeah, they well, they said in PG County alone, the domestic violence rate has tripled. Gee. Wow! In Prince George's County, Lord, has already been said from a, a, a one of the pastor wow. friends of mine whose son is an officer. Their domestic violence rate through this whole corona has gone through the roof. And that's true. Wow. Marriages, that's true. people have been married for 15, 17, 18, 19, 25 years, have been beefing all this time. I wonder if that's because of the uh, jobs and stuff, the layoffs and stuff like well, that. Well, it, 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 it might have a it lot to do with it, but also you home. 
You're seeing a person right. that now you never knew you them because they was working all the time. Yeah, you always, working and I'm going. Right. And so we see each other, we missing it. So that yeah. time away yeah. was my time away. Right. Whatever right. I was doing, it was my time away. Now, no, we together now. Right. We seeing each other 24-7 now. Right. Yeah. So you can't escape. Yeah, let's yeah, play. Escape. We going to play Monopoly today. We're right. going to play yeah. Spades today. <laughs> what we going to play today? Yeah. You know, you going to yeah. cook today? No, I right. never cook. What you mean? I never cooked for you. You was right. always gone. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. Now you home. Now you say, babe, you cooking? Right. Did I ever cook then? So right. I'm not cooking now. Right. Right. So it's right. so many that, that small, my new things that became yeah. big things now because now you're together now. Yeah. Yeah. You you're in the house 24/7. Yeah. 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 You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then you find out that really you thought you married a man, but really you married a boy. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Or, or little you, girl. Yeah, yeah. You or thought daughter. you married a woman, but you married the daughter. <laughs> yeah. right, right. Or right. little girl. That's who you married. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't really marry uh, the woman. Right. You married the daughter. That's what you did. You married. You found out she was. You know, but it's some issues here that I that I don't. Yeah. That's going on. That I'm like, wow. You know. There's a second question on the floor okay, from Pastor Burson. Oh, we got a hey, phone man. call. We got a, phone. we got a caller on the line. We, uh, you can call in at for those who are watching us on. Uh, uh, Mix station, you can call in at one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. We want you to call in. We want to hear your opinions. one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. So please, uh, please get on the air. Uh, again, one more time, the uh, number to call in. Uh, so let's have some dialogue with all of us here. For the men of God is here. one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. There's a second question on the floor. Go ahead. That's why I love this brother. See how he just took over for me? Yeah, you know, got hold of for yeah. it now, you know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doc, my engineer, but I ain't teaching that yet, so I'm a doc. <laughs> so. Pastor Clay Burson said, my second question is, does personal care take precedence over family care? Does personal care take precedence over family care? Personal care. Personal yeah, that's about your personal, what you got to deal with. Yes. I think so. Because I've done it. Yeah. I've done it because I I said one of the main things about me dealing with if I if if I'm out of order, then I can't take care of the family. But you know what though? It's a flip side to that also because what I'm going through, what I'm experiencing right now is that I have my mom's here, my stepdad, they're Mm -hmm. sick, and then my kids, you know, them in North Carolina. Right, right, right. One of them, you know, my grandkids. Everything spread out. Everything spread out. And everybody is dependent on me. And yeah. I'm not dependent on, and I can't take care of myself. Yeah. You know but what I'm see, saying? this is the thing, though, Darren. That's where you have to be very careful at. Because now, if you don't care to you, that's why, you know, and I, and I love what me and Mark, because our theme here at Mixed Station is to have a, a fully balanced, godly life. A mm, fully, fully balanced, balanced, godly life. Yeah. Because, see, now, even though you spread everywhere. Yeah. If you don't take care of you and you fall out, yeah, then what? Right. That's See what I'm true. saying? So the whole okay. idea, your personal care, and that's one thing that this coronavirus has done for me again. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, right. Britson. Is deal with me personally. Yeah. Yeah. Deal with my care. Exercise. I'm exercising more in my house than I did when I went to the gym. Okay. And well, I, remember, you know I got the well, stuff I, in the I, basement. I, I need to get back on the track. I need to get back on the <laughs> Obviously, track. I need to. No, yes, well. my I God. Really no, do. Darren was doing. I, I mean, know. he had me out there running. Oh my! You yeah. know what I'm saying? Jeez. He was rolling. Yeah. And the thing about he it is that that's that's Man. when you that's when you're you you're praying and you're in the God because you know that feeling. Yes. You know, you know the when you're in was God there all the time. He yeah. was like Darren. Darren couldn't deny like, yo, I get up, yo, I'm happy. And we yes. could get in the argument. I'd be like, yo, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I don't have time for yeah. that. I'm gone. You yeah. know, because the whole idea is that you have to have the presence of God to do yes. no what it needs way. to be done. No yeah. Other way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You have to have the presence of God. No other way. And, 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 and especially doing this Kavona driver said brought some people back to God. Absolutely. Yes. That really knew him. Yeah. That they knew him back in the day. Yeah. And they like, you know what? Okay. Because you can't. You can't get around this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you had a business and you still afloat, you yeah. just had to thank God. Yeah. But the word I was looking for earlier was peace. 
peace. Peace. Oh, peace. oh, Shabbat. Peace. Don't, the peace that passes all oh understanding. So on guard your heart and mind. Peace. Through yes, sir. Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yes, sir. There's nothing yes, sir. I experienced at one time. Yeah. And it's nothing mm-hmm. like peace. That's true. When you have peace, no woman, no, no, nothing, nothing. no money, nothing. No, you don't worry about nothing because you know God got you. Yeah. He's yeah. a way maker. You know he's going to provide for you. That's right. Every, it was like nothing went wrong. Nothing. And mm. even if it did go wrong, you knew how to deal with it. The book that I'm reading now is uh, Joyce Myers, uh, um, knowing, um, I, I, the book is in my mind, but um, it's on the same lines of Battlefield of the Mind. Yeah. And um, um, Becoming a Fighter, I think that's what it is. But um, in the chapter, mm-hmm. she talks about peace. And what she says is that, and thank you, Pastor Clay, because Pastor Clay yes. said something to me a minute ago about that we as ministers, we should be reading something. Yeah. And I had yeah. to get back to that. Yeah. Because I used to do it all the time. Yeah. And now since the coronavirus, I'm like, yo, I'm back. I'm right. back. Yes. Now, in the book, it talks about peace. Yeah. Now, one thing she talks about is that knowing when you have the peace of God yeah. and you're in the presence of God, right. you know what you know your enemy and what he's going to do. Yeah. Because, see, now you're always on God because you're yeah. in his presence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anything that comes, yeah. you already know what's going to happen. Yeah. Right, right. You yeah, already right. know, okay, if this happened, you're not really worrying about it. You have such a laid back attitude to it. And that's just me. That's the thing. I think people take the laid back attitude Mm -hmm. about situations because it's the peace of God that we have. Yes. The peace. Right. Oh my goodness. Take your peace. Even, even if I lose money, it's just yeah. a peace God, that I'm not worrying about it, that I'm gonna get it back. Right. Please right. Please. Some Absolutely. way, somehow. Absolutely. I'm not I'm not I'm not worrying about it. Yeah. Cause That's what I'm saying. Look, he going in right now. That's what I'm talking about. You know this is the presence. Just go in right there. Yes, Just go in right there. God, give him peace in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you right now. Give me peace in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you right now Hallelujah. for being in the house right now. Yes. Yes. Father, you're worthy. We bless your name. Yes, we give God. you glory. We yeah. give you praise. Yeah, 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 for yeah. you are the King of kings Absolutely. and you are the Lord of lords. Yes. Father, we thank you for your peace because thank the peace God. that passes all understanding yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, show yeah. God our heart is in mind, yeah. which is in Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Father, yeah, we thank God. you right now thank that thank without God. peace, I shall by go to my yeah, it's yeah. impossible to please you. Yeah, yeah, without yeah, yeah, yeah. faith, it's impossible to please you. We Come thank on. you, Jesus, for yes, your peace. Yes, sir. we thank you for your peace. We thank you yeah. for your peace. Yeah. In the name of in Jesus, name of we Jesus. bless you right now. To yeah. those that are looking right now, to those Touch that are listening right now, I thank you right now. God, give them peace in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you right Thank now you for yeah. the peace. I shall yeah, 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 yeah. give him right now. Yeah, do yeah, it yeah. right now, do oh Father. Right now. No matter what people used to call him, yeah. no right matter now. what people used to say about yeah, him, yeah, give yeah. him peace yeah. about the situation. Yes, give him peace, peace about yes, the situation. Lord. Peace yeah. in their finances. Yeah. Yeah. Peace in their giving. Yeah. Peace in their church. Yeah. Peace in their family. Yeah. Yeah. Peace in their marriage. Yeah. Peace yes, with their children. In the name of Jesus. Everything we thank God for peace. We bless you right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We bless you. Glorify you. Glory to God. Yes, sir. We bless you right now, Jesus. We bless you right now, Jesus. We bless you right now, Jesus. Yes, God. He's doing it. We bless you right now, Jesus. Yes, God. He's doing it. We bless you right now, Jesus. He's doing it right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this is what we're doing. Yes, sir. We just want the peace. That's all we want. Yeah. We just want the peace. Yeah. Real peace. That's it. Real peace. Just real peace. Yeah. Real peace. Just real peace. Yeah. Because, see, the thing about it, when. Even though relationships are, are breaking up, and I just yeah. had a broke up, I just broke up my relationship. Yeah. And but I had there's peace about it. There's peace about it. I, I have you know, and I understand you know whatever. And yeah. maybe I'm not ready. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But there's peace. Work on me some more. I don't know. Yeah. That's right. That's there's right. peace, but I got peace about it. That's right. God just That's fix right. me. Yeah. That's I'm right. I'm not even worrying about you know fix me. Yeah. Fix me in this situation. That's right. Get that's me right. better. That's right. That's right. Get me better. And that's what we need in this time right now is peace. To In time, uh, like it's going back to the question that we just asked right. about getting ourselves together. If we don't get ourselves together, we can't help nobody. No, if, nobody. If, if we are not healed 
uh, uh, emotionally, spiritually. Right. You know, this whole corona has been a shaking up of our faith all it over has. the world. All over. All over the world. Because, you know, it, it, and like you just said, Will, it, it's come a time where it was one time where people would come to church when they felt like it. When they felt like it. Now you can't go to church and you're going crazy. Going crazy. Be- because it's not the normal situation. And so what happens when God revokes us to be able to come into his presence by way of church? And now you got to find him in your living room. You got to find him in your living room. In the house. In the house. Find a room. Find him. He's He's dead. He's He's dead. He He never leaves. He never left. He never left. He's always was in the house. Always. Always. And this thing had shown us, no matter if it was in your room, Get yep. them in your room. Yep. If you, I don't care if you got to get on your knees. Go to the basement. Go to the upper room. That's whatever right. room. That's in, right. your, in your bedroom. That's I right. don't care. If, yeah. look, 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 look. We want to put other things in our bedroom. But if right. you just put Jesus there. Just put him there. Put, put him right put him there right in the there. bedroom. Right, right, right. Right there. Right, I know right. you may want to put some other things there. Come on. But I'm saying to the single women and to the single men. Yeah. If you just put Jesus in your bedroom. Put him there. You don't have to worry about your sexual desires. Right. God will help you to make it through the night right there he will help you come make on. it through the night because come joy on. cometh in the morning yeah. time we been i know we've been may endure for night but, but what joy, joy cometh comes in the, morning. in the morning yeah so so the whole idea is that come on you know what i know people are lonely i know people are upset and yeah you know you can't do this and you can't do this but the thing about it you have to learn how to be isolated with god yeah and get a, and stay away from people, and just stay away. Stay from away people. from people. Absolutely. Stay away. You know, if if, if the relationship is, yeah. is making you upset and her upset, That's right. let it go. Let it go. It's no problem. Let it ride out. Let right. it. It's good. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's but all you, right. But you have to find, and I think, and you just hit something right there. We have to reevaluate who we are in Him. And the Bible says, if I be lifted up, yes, sir. I, I will, will draw. draw. Come on. Yes, and that's sir. that's even for the single man yes, or sir. the single woman. Yes, he sir. will draw. I was lifting up the name of Jesus. I was faithful and committed. And I watched God. I told the whole Ooh. I told the whole world yesterday on Facebook yes, Live. I yes, said sir. that I, I I spoke I spoke faith and faith produced my Thank wife. Jesus. Ah! Yes, sir. The evidence, yes, sir. the evidence, evidence is my of, faith. Yes, sir. Is Hebrews my wife. Eleven one. Go there. Wow. Yes, come on, sir. come on. Faith and, is the substance of things hoped for, the and the evidence, evidence of things, things not seen. seen. And, and I that's the holy. You got to speak it. I got to speak it. And if we that's speak what confession it, is. that's what it is. That's what it is. Come on, sir. And I'm Amen. telling you, for for those of you who are watching us live right now, I'm telling you, we three kings right here. Get, we speak that peace of God mm. on your life. And we want you to call one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. That's one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. God is doing a miracle in this place. And you don't have Amen. to be lonely. You don't have to be stressed. But God is going to bring you peace in the midst of the peace. storm. Yes, and and you know what? And, and I'm going to say this peace. because everybody always saying I'm Ooh. institutionalized. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but this is <laughs> I always go back because I've been in it. I've been in that. I've been in that institution for a minute. <laughs> One thing I can say, and I was talking to my fellow correctional officers that are oh, yeah. retired, and we said. Okay. One thing about this coronavirus, we really, it was all right to us. Yeah. Because we've been on lockdown for so many years. We knew yeah. how to be on lockdown. We knew how to be in isolation. Right. Yeah. So to be in this kind of thing, we really dealt with it. It wasn't right. nothing. It was easy for us. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And what I'm going to say to people of God out there, yeah. some of y'all need to be locked down with God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, need yeah, to be yeah. locked yeah. down with God. Yeah, oh, man. I wrote a song oh. years ago, Lock Me Up. Wow. I remember that. Throw away the key. Wow. Lord, don't that. release me <laughs> right. until I'm totally free. I got to bring that back because I never recorded it. We did record it, but the recording didn't come out right. So, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we just yeah. thank God. We need that song. We're going to get that song. It's coming out. But, um, and that's the thing. I, I think that um, we need to be locked me. We need to be locked down with God. Yeah. This coronavirus have torn us, have, have really have really put us in a place if you're going to be locked down yeah. with sin or you're going to be locked down with God. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. It, it can't be no half and half. Right. Got to be all in or it's nothing. It's got to be all in or yeah. nothing. Yeah. Because if you lock down with sin, then the, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Amen. That's so right. eventually you're going to pay the price. Wow. Everything Absolutely. that's done in the dark will come, come to the light. light. Right. 
Wow. Right. And I think and I think everybody is trying to be this. Uh, well, maybe I can get around and do this and do whatever. Yeah, right. you can. You can do it. Yeah. But you will pay the price, especially yeah. for those who know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For yeah. those who know. Yeah. Those for the ones know. who don't know. Right. Then God will grant mercy on them. Yeah. And he probably will grant mercy on us, too. Yeah. But the whole idea is that for those that us that know. That know. There's only a certain time period, a certain time period of grace that we have. That's right. To deal with our issues. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what Paul said? Yeah. Go Paul, ahead. Paul said, go ahead, you know, I am. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul I said, I am a prisoner. Yes, sir. Of Christ. That's where I got locked me wow. up from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, that's what he said. He said, wow. I didn't realize that until uh, God in my own life uh, began to reveal himself to me even stronger. And I must admit, now, now I'm going to put this out there. Put it out there, bitch. Most this is mixed station. Put it out there. Most preachers <laughs> won't admit it. Most preachers won't admit it. But when God counsels our itineraries... When he canceled all speaking engagements, yeah. when he canceled all the money that was coming in, yes, Lord. and you on, don't have it. nothing but faith. Yes. You, you, you see what I'm saying? You don't have no, it's not mm-hmm. like you can go to a revival next week and just shout it out and come on, make your budget. When, when you don't know what's going to happen, yes. and you have to be locked in with God, mm-hmm. and God began to reveal to me in this season, he says, I'm turning some things in me. Yeah, right. I had to really realize I could not preach to nobody else on Sundays but me. Wow. You, you, you see, I, yes, I, I had yes. to deal with my my inner me. It's not the inner me is my inner me. Get, get, get. You got that from me. He got that from me. Cause I write the song about that. You got took my line and gonna say it back to me like I'm not gonna know it. Like I'm not going to know it. Look, he just took my look, line for me. Look, he just took that thing. thing. Look, we talked Lord. about that a minute ago. He, that was still in his mind. It's still oh, in yeah. my mind. The, the enemy is our enemy. Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. you know, this is where we are. And God began to reveal to me that this is a season where we have to come closer to him. Yeah. Fasting, That's praying, Amen. seeking back God. Back to the basics. Back to the basics. If you're single, like we were talking about tonight, you know, it is back to the basics so you won't make the horrible mistakes. Because one of the things that we all are, there's a Samson in all of us. There is. Ha. Huh? There's huh? a Samson. But there is there is a, a Delilah that's waiting. It's funny. Uh-huh. It's, it's, uh-huh. it's At the uh-huh. same time. At now. the same time. Uh-huh. There's a Delilah uh, that, that's waiting for us. Uh-huh. And, 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 and there's a Bathsheba that's waiting for us. And the reason why I say Bathsheba, because mm-hmm. if you remember what the Bible says, the Bathsheba came yeah. to visit uh, uh, Solomon. Yeah, y'all remember that she came to visit Solomon, and the Bible says when she approached, when she approached, Solomon, Solomon. it she it was no more spirit left Listen, in her. She was, like, she was amazed. Whoop. She fell out. She was Whoop. amazed before that Joker opened up his it mouth. Wow. So so that means that there is a glory that's coming. That if we tap in and be like you said, mm-hmm. become entangled with him. That there is such a glory that is going to wow people before you even open your mouth. They're going to see the tangibleness, the tangibility right. of, of God's presence. Right. And that's what we really need in today's right. time. Right, right, right. That's what we need. And, and, and my thing is that dealing with the relationships of Kavona love, yeah. is, um, this, this thing has really brought, you know, us, uh, especially to the uh, single people out there. Mm-hmm. And, um, um, I, I, I'm just really, um, I just thank God for this time. A lot of people may, may feel, oh, man, this is the worst time. I'm like, and I right. told my parents, this is the best time of my life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the reason why I say that because everything, it may be, care, you know how, okay, in the midst of, and the one thing we we do this in jail, you tell them I'm so institutionalized. I'm always talking about jail. Um <laughs> <laughs> One thing when a storm happens, oh, when a uh, <laughs> when a tornado comes, everything in or outside the tornado is being messed up. But yeah. in the midst of the tornado, there is stillness. A still the peace. air is just still. Mm, yep. Nothing. It's just yep. peace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if you're in the midst of a tornado, you good. Yeah, that's right. But on the outside, everything could be going crazy. That's right. And that's what a lot of people feel. They're feeling like if, if if the outside is going crazy, but if you just have the peace within yourself. That's it. You know, in yeah. relationship, you don't need to be on Facebook finding something. Find yourself. Find yourself. Yeah, that's wow. a word. Find that's yourself. A word, man. That's a word. Stop trying to find a relationship. Yeah. 
And you know, it took me for years just to say I was in a relationship. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Took me years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and yeah. so the thing about it is that it's like, you know, you, you just have to. And, and another thing, too, a lot of people out there, don't look back, y'all. Yeah. Don't look back. Don't go back. Don't look back. Yeah. Hey, because it's rotten. It's right. It's right. It's, it's stinking like and it's right. It's stinking and it's right. Don't go back. Yeah. Don't go back. That's a word. Don't go back. Go ahead, brother. It's like you got to say more. Yeah, word. Yeah. Don't go back. That's go a word ahead. right there, Don. Right. Yeah. Um, in relation, even in relationships, right? Don't go back. You know how sometimes we want to go back. You know, we, we want to go back because it's a former thing that we know. Right. Right. And you know, familiar. Familiar. We'll yeah. we'll rather um go back to our old ways. Yeah. Because we had fun. Yeah. And you know we had you know, we enjoyed ourselves. But a lot of people and I tell a lot of, you know, people that's going through the struggle of being in relationships like don't if they like an abusive relationship and things yeah. like that, I'm like, don't go back because it's foul, it's thinking, you know. Just like um I'm not good at scriptures, like when um who who wife wasn't told? Don't look back. She turned to a pair of um, uh, lots, 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 lots wife. wife. Yep. You yeah. see what I'm saying? She she said, don't lot. don't don't turn yeah. back. And she you turned, turned to a pair of stuff. Sure. So what she do? She, she turned, turned around, around, right? Yeah, yeah, she did. It's just like our lives and relationships. Don't as much as you want to go back to that person or whatever. And they never was it. good for you. They never we, was we good. We used to talk toxic. about that all yeah. the time. We did. Well, we did. We talked about it all the time because as much as I would like to go back to have my family. Yeah. With my ex. You can't. As much as I would like to say, you know what, get it back together. Right. Make it what it was. But the thing about it, things happen. Yeah. And if I go back, it'll be worse now than it would be. It's, 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 it's done. Final. Yeah. And it's done. Yeah. Sometimes God puts his, this coronavirus came. So a lot of people, if they did look back, they turned into a pillow of salt. Let me yeah. put it that way. Yeah. Because Truly. when you went back, you, you some of us, some of us got caught back up again. Yep, yep. True. <laughs> and then you 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 didn't miss ten years of what you were delivered from, yes. and yeah. went back. You're like, oh my god, I'm back there again. Yep. Why? Yeah. yeah, because you opened the door back up. You, and then yeah, that demon it. that came came stronger than it was ten mm-hmm. years ago. Yep. Right. Yep. It was stronger. Yeah, that's right. It's just, and, and that's and that's not only in uh, relationships that's anything yeah that's true uh, if you like went through a thing of doing drugs and uh-huh. you know abusing liquor and stuff right. like that sometimes you want to when you're dealing with stress sometimes you might hey I need to go get me a drink you know right but but don't do that you right. know because right. you're going all those years you might have been clean 10 15 years and then that one drink just took you right back took you so right you back, back. And so you're you starting all over again all over again all over all and we can't have, and I like what you said uh, about not that's a, that that's a word. Yeah. Not looking back. You know, it, it, the Bible says, forgetting those things which are behind yeah, us. I mean, yes. And I press, towards you know, towards the, something. Yeah, come on, come on towards yes. the mark of the prize yes. of the high calling. And God right. is right. calling us right to uh, press forward. Uh, even in our, our relationships, for those who are in relationships, God is still dealing with me even as a man now. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. th- there's still some, you know, I heard, uh, I heard Dr. Kim, we mentioned him earlier. Right. Dr. I heard Kim. him say, he said, uh, he said. I you, love that man. You, you, it, it, me too. He, and he said, him. he said something that was so powerful. He said, you can get a divorce and you can get remarried again, but you will never, as long as you live, you will never forget you know, it's like a it's like a stain. It's a part, right? right. It's there. Right. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a stain. Right. It's, it's what it's what Paul was talking about. We all have stains on our garments. That's one of those right. stains yes. that you can't wash right. away. It's, right? It's yes. there. It's a part yes. of you now. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, part yeah. of me. Yes. yes. Nobody yeah. can take that away. No yeah. matter what yes. goes on, yes. that yeah. divorce, yeah. that marriage, yeah. is a part of me. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. matter how much I may want to forget it or then do whatever, it's, it's there. still. A part of me. Come on. And it's the reason why I am the man that I am today. Yeah. I remember one lady I was dating, and she said, she said, you know, your ex really messed you up. Mm. And she was right. She was yeah, right. But we don't see that, you know. We don't, we see, don't it, see it. But, but she saw it. Yeah, yeah. And right. I had to reevaluate to say, you know what? That's she right. did. Right. That's right. So I had to really get myself together and, yeah. and just cleanse all that stuff yeah. out, man. Just right. like, yo, get it together. Right. So right. you can right. be right. ready for the next person. Right. Because if that's still in you, yeah. then the next person coming True. along or going to get all that. 
Right. Yep. And don't deserve all that. Yep. It's like the song by, by music called Previous Cats. Y'all need oh to listen goodness. to that song, yeah. Previous Cats. <laughs> yeah, uh, Eric Robinson wrote that song. That's yeah, my man, yeah, yeah, that's Previous Cats. Wow. So anybody uh, look, yeah, I listen to secular music. Hallelujah. We all do. Name. Music and, and Eric Robinson is my man. Yeah. So I love Neo Soul. But um, music, he um, wrote that song. Well, um, Eric Robeson wrote the song, Previous Cats, for music. Right. And I'm telling you, it's an awesome song. And it he is. talks about that. He talks yeah. about, look, I'm trying to love you, but you got all them previous cats you're yeah, dealing yeah, with. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm know what I'm saying? I'm not the blame. I'm not the blame. <laughs> I'm not the blame for, the for what the previous cats, cats yeah, and yeah. what they did. Come on, I didn't do that. Right. Well, you blaming me for What's what they know? did. Exactly. You know right. what I'm saying? And I think a lot of relationships are now, especially especially for us mature guys. Yeah. Um, um, who are in it. You know, we we you know, especially with the baggage that comes, we all got baggage. Yeah. Right. The thing about it, how well do you carry your baggage? That's true. How well do you carry it? That's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just like with financial issues with with finances and everything, you know, I knew I had to get my finances right. Yeah. Right. Before I even start another right. friend How about relationship. That? That makes sense. I had to major. get it right. That's, that makes, I had to get it major. right. That makes because sense. I had to start all over again. Right. Get, right. The, get your credit straight. Get your credit straight. Yeah. Pay yeah. pay your taxes. Don't, pay don't, your taxes. Don't, don't, don't come with, with junk. Yeah. Yeah. With junk. yeah. 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 You know, make a deal with the tax folk. I'm a living witness. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Butler <laughs> Square <laughs> and uh, company. And don't be ashamed of it either. Don't be ashamed of it. This is where I'm at. And I think if everybody lay it on the table. You know, and put it out there. Say, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. Can you deal with this, or can you help me to right. come out of this? Right. right. You right, talking right. about like if you get into a relationship? Yeah, if you get into a relationship. Right, right. Yeah, be honest. Be you honest, know? because yeah. the whole idea. If I can't be honest don't and come, I can't be right. me, then there's no need in don't us. Don't come being with no secrets because then you hiding things. You yes, know? Lord. Right. Yes, right. Lord. Yeah. Right. Get caught yes, up. Lord. Fall in love, get married, then you got the tax situation going on. And the, and the yeah, woman like, say, "Why well, you ain't tell me about this? Yeah. Yeah. My bag. I didn't know. I yeah. didn't. If I would have told yeah. you, you wouldn't have never married me. Yeah, that's no, right. I'm telling you off the it's bat. Yeah, that's this right. what it is. This is right. what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what right. though? And so I'm gonna love again. I'm gonna love again. Yes, Lord, Absolutely. love again. Um, um, yeah, I'm gonna love again. I, um, when I was married, um, I think you know what? You know how you say um, you love a person. Yeah, I only been in love one time. Yeah. And I put everything into it. I mean, yeah. everything. The whole life invested. Yes. Yeah. But that's a hurting thing when it when it all comes. Oh my down. god. Yeah. Absolutely. And, um, but I think right now what's going on right now with this coronavirus and stuff like that, the world, the devil, is attacking. Well, I ain't gonna say. You know what he is. But uh, it's a lot of people doing more. And yeah. Devilish things now. Yeah. They they doing a lot of fraud and yeah. yeah. Um. People just want to just do their thing now. You know, it's like a lot of people don't care now. Well, the coronavirus here, I don't know how long I'm going to be here living. And yeah. they just all just doing all kinds of Craziness. crazy things. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and um, I think we, we, need, we the world need to get it together. Yeah. We yeah. need to get it together. And, and, we need, and we need to find, you know, a shout out to Bishop King on Southern's uh, all the, uh, David, all, all everybody that's jumping in on everybody's live. If y'all watching live on different posts, God bless you guys. Amen. Um, and and just know, uh, family. Antoine mix, Jefferson, how you doing there, brother? Yeah. All, yeah. all the people, uh, Tawana Woods, Angela Jackson. Yeah. Oh my God, man! Some of these people, of course, my past of Yvonne uh, Burnett. Yeah. Um, Karen Evans. Um, Eric Bell. Andre yeah. Harris, my cousin. Eric Holmes. God bless Eric you. Eric Holmes. Timothy yeah. Demis. Timmy. Tim, Tim Dennis. What's up, Tim Dennis? Tim, you need to call me. <laughs> yeah. Keith L. Green, uh, Sharon Lynn, my girl from UB, Mark Copeland, my man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Miss <laughs> Church, Miss Bunch at the church, Mother Bunch. Um, no Tyson. Tyson. I don't call him no. Uh, yeah. yeah. I call him Tyson. I and, call him Lennon. Uh, yeah, Lennon. <laughs> Lennon Tyson. My mother, Tammy R. Saunders. <laughs> All right. Remember Tammy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Tammy. Tammy. Sherry Hawkins. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brian Martin. Bishop Brian Bishop Martin Brian from Martin. Thugs, Thinkers, and, and Theologians. Yes. Louis Armstrong. That's my cousin. Yolanda and, Jones. Um, Bless you. Miss Doreen. Hey. So, you know, so many people was watching, so I'm sending them a shout out. Yeah. Now, my, my, my buddy, Henry Hall from New Jersey. I need to call him because we trying to, um, Mix Station is trying to expand. B.J. Samuels, he's going to be getting a sports show on here soon. Yeah. And um, 
one of my good, good friends from back in the day, Savandra. Okay. Yes, yes. Love her. Yes, I do. I know that's right. <laughs> yes, I do. Put um, it in the atmosphere. Yeah. Andre, <laughs> my man Andre. Pam. Woo. These people. Carla. Carla said, when you invite the, uh, what she said, when you invite the the peace of, the peace of, uh, the prince of peace, and um, you will have the total and complete peace. Right. There's nothing like it. David Wright said, is that Will? Yes, sir. David Wright, it is Wilbert Nichols. You know what the world renowned. You know what? Forget David. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let y'all know Mix Station is growing. Matter of fact, one of our shows got picked up by the big time I Heart Radio. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Thank God Amazing. for that. So um, I just thank God that um, we're growing. Um, Absolutely. We are definitely- Tamla Payne. Tamra Payne from BSA. My people from BSA. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Britton. Wow, man. God bless you, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vaughn Geechee is watching. All right. All yeah. right. So, you know, a lot of people, um, amen. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing I'm a whole bunch in. of people. Yeah, they're tuning in. We just thank everybody. Um, we've been we've been doing this for a whole hour and something. Yeah. And yeah, we've been rolling. And um, um, well, can I say thank you to my uh, engineer tonight? Um, he ain't do nothing, but bless his heart. He was here. <laughs> yeah, bless his heart. He was here. I said, bless his heart. You all right, Donnell? Yeah, I'm okay, all right. He ain't listen to me on the phone. He ain't even listen to me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But make sure you pay me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> shout out to Minister Trina and Captain Ron Graham. All yeah, right. yeah. Church yeah, administration. Yeah, 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 I got to yeah. shout my administrator out. Yeah. Eric Collins. Shout out to Damon man. Diggs. Yeah, Damon, my man. Yeah. Was he on your page? Yeah, he was on everybody's page. Oh, he was on everybody's page. Yeah. He wasn't on my page. He ain't want well, to say I, nothing Yeah, he was on my page. I guess he, he might have been on your brother's page. He might have been. Yeah. He only had, you know, mixed station. So, family, y'all, we are on all of the spider, all of the uh, podcast uh, entities right now. We're on iHeartRadio, Spotify, um, Deezer, um, Apple Podcasts, um, uh, Google Podcasts. All of the entities. If you got Spider, if you got any podcasts, we are on there. Yeah. And um, we just thank God for Mix Station. We're going to be doing a lot of new things here. Um, my next show will be about um, prison, since I'm always talking about prison. <laughs> so um, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, my guest uh, is going to be a guy that was my uh, client. When I was in, and now we work together. Wow. And mm. so he's coming in, and we're going to talk about the reality right. of what uh, prison is, you know, um, the real deal. Not all this fake stuff. No, we're going to go straight in and deal with, because everybody thinks prison is like, oh, I need to go to No, no, you don't. Yeah. No, no you don't. No, you don't. Right, and right, he, right, right, right. He right. served big time. He was with me at the, at the annex. Yeah, and you know those two. Uh, you know I'm a uh, house manager at Recovery House also. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you so, getting you got probably got some of my people I know. Hey, it was some uh, of my clients. Yeah, they, from back they, in the day because a lot of the cats that I was in in prison with back in the day during the mid nineties, they're they're coming out now. Yeah, they're oh, coming wow. out now. Yeah, wow. they're coming out. So wow. a Different lot of personalities. Them. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. I know. I dealt with them. I dealt with but you gotta be strong. Look, look, look. Any look, and I know corrections need help. But I'm just saying, if you're going to correction now, you really need the peace of God. Amen. You wow. gotta have a strong mind. Because yeah. even back then you had to have a strong mind. But now it's a whole nother different ball game in the prison. So mm-hmm. we're gonna be talking about that. And people from um many different institutions are gonna be calling in. And um, I'm going to try to get another officer here and yeah. maybe another client of mine's here so we can really have a real discussion Talk about, about this thing. Because, um, you know, and, and everybody that, most of the cats, you know, uh, they have really changed their lives around because yeah. he's a minister. Yeah, he's man. a minister. Amen. Yeah. You know, and so um, I just thank God. Uh, family, we thank y'all for tuning in. My father, yeah. Bishop, what you got going on? Because I know your hey, channel man. tuning all that. Uh, so man, put it we, out there. Listen, uh, shout out to everybody. Jackie Boone who just uh, shouted okay, us Jackie. out. Okay, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. 
uh, everybody. Uh, uh, we have a lot going on, you know, even through this COVID. You can check us out. My wife and I have a show on ABC yes, on WMAR do. Channel 2 okay. called The Power of Faith Broadcast. Okay. Uh, we come on the last Saturday in every month mm-hmm. at 11.30 p.m. Amen. Okay. Uh, and uh, we are super excited about that. We have a new ministry location, Amen. which is at 780 Elkridge Landing Road, right there mm-hmm. in, uh, 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 oh, God, Linthicum Heights, right okay. beside BWI Airport. Okay, you uh, out there? Right okay. there in A.A. County, right beside uh, is BWI that Airport. the business part? The business part? Yeah, yeah, right the business there. area. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. right beside the McDonald's. You can pull in our parking lot and literally walk in McDonald's, too. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, we, we're excited about that. Uh, you can feel free. We do have a uh, Facebook page for Doc, Dr. Charles and uh, Lady Michelle Waters. It's a fan mm-hmm. page. Join. You can connect with us there. Uh, also, uh, we, we have a lot going on, you know, far as getting prepared for this uh, relaunch of ministry. Right. Uh, God told me that this is what we call the NCO season. We Amen. We heard an NWO, New World Order, Ebony but hey, New love. Church Order that uh, we are uh, in the midst of doing now. So uh, we're doing that. We're preparing to have a, a, an amazing year uh, th- towards the end of the year and going to 2021. So. Uh, keep us in prayer, man, but check us out on ABC. You'll love Amen. the show. Amen. I'm going to put Wars on the spot. He need to be here at Mix Station. Yes, we coming to Mix Station. Amen. Like, and you heard uh, that. Yes. Y'all heard that out yes. of his mouth. The new General of Faith is coming to Mix Station. Amen. And, and he, he can do his g- own thing. And he yeah. also gave a shout out to McDonald's. He gave a shout yes. out to McDonald's. Can we get some checks, please? <laughs> 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 and don't forget the salt and the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> And plenty of barbecue sauce and honey mustard. Don't be playing. Twenty Jesus. pieces of one little sauce. Yeah, <laughs> mother Carver, mother, mother Myra. Yeah, Curtis yes, Adams, sir. my man. Y'all need to be back here, Curtis. Amen. We need Amen. some sponsorships from McDonald's. Oh, that's please. Curtis Adams, the guy I used to work with at um at the Annex. What's up, Curtis? Ba, 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 yeah, my shout man. out, Evangelist Debbie Jones. Yeah, we shouting y'all out. Let's, yeah, we shouting everybody out. Let's see you, Ellis. Lysia, yeah, my cousin. Lysia Ellis Amen. is your cousin. Yeah, my, she was married to my uncle, my Wayne Ellis. God, she's a fa- she's a brilliant, brilliant yes, she woman is. of God. Yes, she is powerful woman of God. Yeah, she probably be sending us something, but we're gonna talk about that not on Uh-oh. air. Oh, you want me to put it on air? Let me put it out there. Let me put it out there. I, 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 I'm 53 now. I'm single. You're 53 yes. now, and, and you're I'm, single. And when is your birthday? God. When is your birthday? August the 3rd. I'll be 53. You'll be 53. Matter of fact, on Monday. On Monday. On Monday. That's Congratulations. My, I'm, I'm a Leo. You're a Leo. Leo. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to all the single women. If you are a single woman watching us right now, and you'd like to be connected to these powerful men of God. Oh, Lord. We can make that out. happen immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Inbox he us. is one to talk. And we are setting up interviews. Uh, interviews. Before. <laughs> <laughs> we need to check your pay scale. We need to make sure you're legit. <laughs> and I have two jobs. Hey, he got, he two, got jobs. two jobs. With During me. the pandemic, he got two jobs. Come on here. <laughs> We got some wonderful men of God, men of standard, oh men of power God. that oh are single God. and willing. Oh my God! Women, Jesus. you got to bring something better to the table, not oh. just your body. That's right. Yes, That's right. Lord. Yes, Lord. You bring that mind. And, and I'm a shout mind. out yeah. to one of my friends. She just got engaged. I'm not gonna put her name out there, but bless you. You know I love you and everything. Bless you. Got engaged. I'm I'm so happy for you. That's my other family. Amen. Praise can I can I go can ahead. I can I go shout out somebody? Go ahead. You didn't mean shouting out anyway. No, I, I, I really I, 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 I really really <laughs> want to uh, give a shout out to my boy Tim Dennis. Yes, Tim. You know I love you, man. Um, you need to call you, somebody. Hey, uh, no matter what you're going through or what you've been through, you know God, you know, put God first, man. You yeah, know, we yeah. love you. Amen. Yeah. We do love him. Yeah. Um, that's my, my brother in Christ. Um, his other brother, Eric Dennis, is one of my best friends. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. and um, I've been knowing him pretty pretty much since my teenage years. I've oh, been knowing nice. him since my teenage years. So, such a good brother. And um, we just thank God. But um, um, what else I was going to talk about? Um, so we're doing the show. Yes. Um, what else? Uh, we talked about everything, the relationship. And um, and that's pretty much um, it. Yeah. Um, anything else? Anything you want to say, Dan, before we roll out? 
I'm good. You good? You went up today, bro. I'm, I'm going to say, you went in. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't had to tell him to go in. See, that's when you know the presence of God is Amen. just with you. I'm Amen. just going to go in. I don't care what y'all doing. Amen. I know it's a show, Amen. but I'm just going to go in. And, um, that's me. That's what I do. We just thank God uh, yeah. for this uh, platform. But um, watch out for Mix Station. And, oh, that's what I wanted to say. For those who want to come on to Mix Station, you want to have your own show. We, we we have advertisement prices, and to have a show here is practically nothing. Yeah. It's practically nothing. Am I right, Waters? Yeah, he is absolutely correct. Right. It is nothing. And if yeah. y'all sent to the churches that are out there yeah. to be on all these platforms, yeah, you know, if you send us your feed from your church, I mean, that is really nothing. It is half yeah. of the price of coming in here. Yeah. So that's really nothing. So we're just putting you out there. All you got to call, y'all can uh, inbox me at Wilbur Knuckles on Facebook. Yes. It's the beige looking one, not the white and black looking <laughs> one. It's the beige looking one. The one with the one that looked like this with the hat and yeah, all that. Yeah. The album that's, release. Yeah, the album release. That was my album release? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's I a did. question on the floor from uh, uh, Bishop Southern says, do we still do music? Yes, we'll still do yes, music. Do. Yeah, you can book him immediately. Yeah, you can okay. book him immediately. He still, <laughs> he still do, he still do music. He's still, he's still active. He's ready to rock and roll. He, <laughs> if you can book him, you can call one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. Operators are standing by <laughs> right uh, now. Pay right is now. negotiable. Yes, it's always negotiable. <laughs> it's always negotiable. He still but, does but, music, but, but but yeah. but uh, Kenyon uh, Southern's um, my my music even back then um, has has really uh, grown has really matured. Yeah. I'm not you know I'm not the normal praise and worship guy, and I talk about issues, real issues in this next album. Yeah. Right, I'm not holding back. Yeah. Not holding back. Oh, I'm not holding back, baby. That's right. I'm not like the song uh, "Lock Me Up." That's going to be yeah. on there. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, the song "Nova P." Okay. Uh, that's my Nova P. I can't really put it out there what that song is about, but um, you gonna know. It's about television. So if you, whatever know, y'all got right. going on, so. Hallelujah. Dealing with the television. Please but, book um, Wilbur Nichols. Please, oh, please y'all don't book. need to book yeah. me. God's going to take care of me. He comes with the towel and the hat. <laughs> <laughs> in the realness. But you know, he I do stuff the... in the clubs. So no. shout out to Expectations <laughs> Club. We're waiting. We can't wait to get back there <laughs> yeah. to start the doing these shows. Because now the, the music industry has changed. Oh, man. And so it's not going to be about uh, uh, these big shows now. So it had to be very intimate shows now. And um, yeah. we're going to be live and stream. So Marcus will be talking about that now and how we're going to do that. And um, to make sure that everybody can see what we do. And do the recordings live like that. You know, and so we just thank God for that. But people who want to do shows, call us at one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine, 493 6499 Or inbox me. Yeah. Wilbur Knuckles inbox my brother Marcus Big Nick. And, um, and his towel is his trademark. Yes, sir. Who yeah. said that? Who <laughs> Bishop Southern. Southern just, he need to get off the line. That's what he need to do. We need to show down. So, um, but God bless him. Yeah. Um, we just thank God for what we're doing and um, for what he's doing in our lives. And, That's um, right. Um, we just Amen. bless God. Darrell Brown, what's up, baby? How you doing, man? So, um, we done, man. We done. Amen. Um, I think God has pleased with us tonight with our conversation. The one, two out the way. I wasn't crazy, was I? I wasn't that crazy. No, oh, no. we had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had fun. Yes. Yeah, and um, we just thank. So, everybody, we thank you for tuning in. We God bless you. Thank you for being here tonight. And, um, hey, next month, we're going to do another show, okay? This is Real Talk with Will Nichols. Let me say that right. I didn't even say that right. I'm so tired. Real Talk with Wilbur Nichols. God bless you. God bless. Peace.